Valley School Building, with almost a century of history, could be in its last year of operation, but many don't seem to mind. Good evening, I'm Patrice Dayton. And I'm Mark Allen. The Vigo County School Board will be hearing proposed plans for the Booker T. Washington School Building tonight. News fans Dan Klein reports that school officials say it is time to say goodbye. Dan? Mark, Booker T. Washington was built in Terre Haute in 1914. Since 1975, it has housed the alternative program for students in Vigo County who are pregnant and who are already parents. The building, not the program, may have outlived its usefulness. The first thing that hits you is the heat from no central air conditioning. Then the stairs, up for classes, down for the daycare. Not the best for expectant mothers. Problems that an older building presents that prevents students from learning in the classroom. A large fan keeps the air circulating in the hallways. So badly there's no way to fix it. Carpet has been attached to some of the walls to keep young kids from eating paint chips. Plus, the daycare is below ground level, making a quick getaway difficult during a fire drill or a real emergency. I think all that plays into your ability to learn. Washington High School will teach about 50 kids this year, about the same number of pregnant or parenting students who choose to remain in the regular school. They should be treated as equals, and uh, the Booker T. Washington current facility doesn't get that equal opportunity. Superintendent Tanu says the Washington program could relocate into the current Terre Haute South facility without any problems. However, he says there will need to be a building addition to make room for the daycare. School officials say they could save $40,000 by closing the Washington cafeteria and save on some of the $30,000 in utility costs. But they say that's not the main reason for considering the move. They deserve, you know, everything that every other student in Vigo County deserves. Superintendent Danny Tanu says the move could happen as soon as next year. He says he hopes to sell the Washington school building if that happens. Back to you, Mark. Thank you, Dan. The idea for moving is based on a recent school evaluation study that included possibly closing Chauncey Rose Middle School. School board members will be getting an overview on the Washington Alternative School proposal during its meeting tonight.